Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on PCNF that is principal disjunctive normal form. It is one type of normal form. In the previous videos, we are already discussed about three normal forms that is DNF disjunctive normal form, CNF conjunctive normal form, PDNF principal disjunctive normal form with the several example problems please refer that videos for better understanding of dnf cnf pdnf now in this video we have to discuss about uh, what is a uh, pcnf what are the methods we have to used for getting the equivalent pcnf for a given formula and what are the methods we have to follow with some example problems. Okay, first I am explaining one example problem. After that, we go for the definition of PCNF. Okay, so first one, obtain the PCNF of P by conditional Q. So this is the given formula. For the given formula, we have to find out the equivalent formula in PCNF by using truth table method. Okay. In that given formula, how many number of statement variables are there? Only two variables are there that is P and Q. So number of statement variables can be denoted by small n that is equal to 2. One is a variable p and another one is a variable q okay so when the number of variables is equal to 2 then how many number of rows are present in the truth table for that one we have to use one formula that is a 2 power n okay 2 power n where n is equal to 2 2 power 2 that is equal to four rows are possible in the given truth table four rows is nothing but four possible truth values of two statement variables p and q okay now we have to construct the truth table for the given formula so truth table so in the first column okay variable p I am writing that is the statement variable p in the second column statement variable q I am writing after that the given formula I am writing that is p by conditional q in the last column I am writing match term so in the case of pcnf we are using match terms okay next one so what are the possible truth values when n is equal to 2 so that is 2 power 2 that is 4 possible truth values so that is true true second one is true false third one is false true and fourth one is false false okay now p by conditional q is true only whenever both the statement variable contain the same truth values otherwise it is false okay now consider the truth values of p and q both are true both are true is nothing but both are containing the same truth values then p by conditional q is true okay next one second case in the second row both are containing the different truth values then P by conditional Q is false. In the third row, both statement variables containing the different truth values, then P by conditional Q is false. In the fourth row, both statement variables contain the same truth values, then P by conditional Q is true. Okay, next. After uh, uh, finding out the truth values of P by conditional Q, then we are considering only false values. Okay, so in the case of PDNF, 
we are considering only true values but in the case of pcnf we are considering the false values okay now for the given false values we have to write the max terms only okay so for the given false value what are the possible truth values of the statement variable here so that is a p value is a true and a q value is false okay here p value is a true is nothing but we are writing negation p okay next q value is a false is nothing but we are writing q okay next here in between them we are using r connective because it is a max term okay so this statement variable and this statement variable are connected by using r connective okay in the case of pdnf okay so p value is true i am writing p okay q value is false i am writing negation q in the case of pdnf but in the case of pcnf so p value is true is nothing but we are writing negation p q value is false is nothing but i am writing directly q both are connected by using r connective okay next one in the next row so p by conditional q is false the corresponding truth values of the statement variables is p value is false and q value is true p value is false means i am writing directly p next q value is true i am writing negation q both are connected by using r connective i am not writing the max term here i am not writing the max term here because i am considering only false values okay for the corresponding false value the corresponding uh, possible truth values of the statement variables p value is true q value is false whenever p value is true i am writing negation p whenever q value is false i am writing q both are connected by using r connective next for the third row so here p by conditional q is false the corresponding truth values of the statement variables p value false and q value true whenever p value is false i am directly writing the p and whenever q value containing the truth value true means i am writing the negation q okay now the equivalent the equivalent pcnf of p by conditional q is okay i am writing the max terms negation p r q this is one max term and p r negation q this is one max term these max terms are connected by using conjunction okay this meaning is conjunction of max terms conjunction of max terms simply we can say that product of max terms product of max terms okay so in this way we have to find out the uh, pd and pcnf for a given formula using truth table method so this is the equivalent pcnf for the given formula okay now we go for the definition okay for a given formula this is the given formula for a given formula an equivalent formula this is the equivalent formula consisting of conjunction of the max terms okay so this is max term this is max term conjunction of max terms simply called as principal conjunctive normal form okay okay for a given formula the equivalent formula consisting of conjunction of max terms only so this is called as its pcnf for a given formula next one pcnf is also called as product of sums canonical form okay this is a sum this is a sum 
these two sums are connected by using and connective so and connective is nothing but product so product of canonical sums so pcns is also called as product of canonical sums PDNS is also called as sum of products canonical form. Okay, next one. What are the methods we have to find out the uh, PCNF for a given formula? There are two methods we have to use. First one is using truth table method. Second one is without using truth table method. Okay, first one is using truth table method. So, this is the procedure we have to follow for finding out the equivalent PCNF for a given formula. So see the procedure for every truth value false. For every truth value false of the given formula, select the match term which also has the truth value false. Okay. For some combination of negation of the truth values of the statement formula. Okay. So, this is the procedure we have to follow. Negation of true is nothing but false. False is nothing but negation P. Negation of false is nothing but true. So, I am directly writing Q. Here, negation of false that is true. Directly, I am writing P. Negation of true that is nothing but false. Directly, I am writing negation Q. Okay. So, negation P or Q. P or negation Q. This is elementary sum. This is elementary sum. These two elementary sums are connected by using the product. Product of elementary sums is called as product of max terms is called as PCNF. Okay. Next, we go for the second method without using truth table. Okay. Next, second method without using truth table. For a given formula, we have to find out the equivalent PCNF by using these steps. Okay. First step, the given formula contains conditional and biconditional connectives that connectives can be replaced by using R connective and connective and negation connective. So this is the first step. Second step, if any negation is there, that negation can be applied to the inner side of the components within the parenthesis by using De Morgan laws followed by distributive law. This is the second step. Okay. Next, if any elementary sum contains a tautology, that elementary sum term can be dropped. That is the third step. Next one, match terms can be obtained by taking the conjunction of elementary sums. Okay. This is the next step that is fourth step. And last step, if any identical max terms are there, that identical max terms can be write only once. Okay. Next one. So, example, obtain the PCNF of P by conditional Q. So, given formula is P by conditional Q. The first step is if the given formula contains conditional and biconditional that can be converted into equivalent formulas containing R connective and connective and negation connective. Okay. So now the equivalent formula we have to write P by conditional Q can be written as P to Q and Q to P. Okay. So, we are already know that so P by conditional Q is logically equivalent to so P conditional Q and Q conditional P. So, according to that I am writing so P by conditional Q is equal to P to Q and Q to P. 
Next, after that, so P to Q can be written as negation P or Q and Q to P can be written as negation Q or P. Okay, we are already know the formulas. So, that is a P conditional Q is logically equivalent to negation P or Q according to that formula. P conditional Q can be replaced by negation P or Q. Next one, Q conditional P can be replaced by so negation Q or P. So, according to this formula, we have to replace Q to P by negation Q or P. So, next one, according to the commutative law, so negation P or Q and this can be written as P or negation Q. Okay. So now observe. So this is one max term and this is one max term. Here two variables are there either in normal form or in complemented form. Here two variables are there either in normal form or in complemented form. So this is one max term. And this is another max term. These two max terms are connected by using conjunction. That is the and. So that this is the required PCNF. So therefore, the required PCNF is the required PCNF is negation P or Q and P or negation Q. Okay. The same answer we are also getting from the truth table method. So, for this problem, okay, second, third, fourth, fifth step are not necessary. Okay. So, finally, we are getting the equivalent PCNF for a given formula. So, this is the procedure we have to follow. So, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, we are solving some other problems on PCNF. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel. So, Divvela Srinivasarao. Thank you.